So let's show how to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix system x prime equals ax when the matrix A is 3 by 3. Uh, so let's let A equal this matrix. So as with the 2 by 2 matrices when we're trying to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the system we take the or we set the determinant of A minus ri equal to zero. So let's show what the mate, uh, determinant a minus ri looks like for this 3 by 3. And so it's the same uh, uh, approach, we just subtract r down the main diagonal of the matrix. Now, to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, we have to do uh, it a little differently because um, there isn't a way to just do the uh, <coughs> determinant approach uh, directly. So first we have to note that every entry has a sign associated with it and that these signs alternate as such. The sign of a matrix is determined by looking at its position. So the first row, first column entry has a sign minus 1 to the 1 plus 1 power which is minus 1 squared, which is 1, whereas the second entry in the first uh, row has the 1, 2 position with this notation. This, this uh, 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 subscript designates the row, and this subscript designates the column. So that says minus 1 is to the 1 plus 2 power, or the third power, and so that's why that entry has a negative 2 uh, sign associated with it. So when we find the determinant of this matrix, we do what's called expand it using uh, minors. Actually expand along a row using minors. We actually have a, a choice to expand along a row or a column. So I'm just going to expand this uh, determinant along the first row. And I'm going to write out what it is and then explain where everything comes from. Okay, so we start with uh, this entry right here, and if we eliminate the column and the row in which that entry resides, we're left with these four entries, and you'll see that right here we've got the determinant of those four entries, that is that entry's minor. Then we go to this entry right here, which as we said is a negative entry, because it's minus 1 to the 1 plus 2 power, and the minor associated with it is obtained by elim eliminating the column and the row in which that entry resides, which leaves those four entries, and you can see that this determinant is um, the determinant of that minor. And then finally, on the uh, last entry in this uh, third row, minus 1, we eliminate that column and that row, and that leaves these four entries, and you can see <coughs> that this determinant is the determinant of that minor. So let's do the uh, computations finding these uh, three determinants multiplied by their factors out front, just below this. So I've written out uh, all of those determinants, and now let's uh, uh, put, <coughs> put them in uh, more succinct form, which we've done here, and then let's distribute across. So first we're multiplying 1 by all those uh, entries in that first bracket, so that's what, minus 5r plus r squared plus 4, and then we distribute the minus r across all these entries here, and so that gives us, what, uh, 5r squared uh, minus r cubed, and then minus 4r, and then we continue with the next uh, Distribution, that's what, minus 2 plus 2r, and plus 4 minus 4r. So if we collect terms, you see that we have a minus r cubed, 
remember we're setting all of this equal to zero. So we have a minus r cubed, and then the r squared terms are what? r squared and 5r squared. So that is uh, plus 6r squared, and then the r terms are what? My, minus 5r, minus 4r, plus 2r, and minus 4r. And so that's what? Minus 5, minus 4, minus 4, which is minus 13 and plus 2. So it's minus 11r. And then finally the constant. See, I've got four lines under all the constants. Plus 4, plus 4, minus 2. So that is plus 6. So what we have to do is take this cubic polynomial here and find out its solutions. Now, what we would normally do is in MathCAD show how to do uh, how to find the uh, eigenvalues uh, this long way but you would be able to um, use the uh, um, the determinant method using uh, I just want you to set it up this way and you'd be able to use MathCAD in this manner if we go to View, view toolbars matrix, we'll find this absolute value like sign, which is actually the determinant sign. Then we will put the 3x3 three three matrix inside there, and you can put whatever size matrix you want. And then we will put this right arrow to the right of it. That right arrow is found under view toolbars symbolic. When you uh, click outside of where that right arrow is, you will, you will get this. And uh, remember that we are setting that equal to zero. So then if we go in MathCAD, view toolbars symbolic factor, we will get the keyword factor to show up. And in that box that's right there, we'll paste this polynomial that we want to factor. And then when we click outside where the arrow is, it will show up, it will factor it for us like this. And so, of course, since we're setting that equal to zero, it's easy to see that when we set that equal to zero, we get the eigenvalues r equals one, two, and So what do we do now? We need to find we need to find the eigenvector associated with, or, uh, right, the eigenvector associated with each of these three eigenvalues, and we'll do that on the next uh, uh, blackboard. To just find the uh, determinant using the determinant function, which gives you that same polynomial, <coughs> which you then factor and solve. So we're going to subtract 1 down the main diagonal of the uh, matrix A, <coughs> which we have uh, here. As with the 2 by 2s, we're going to set A minus um, 1, pardon me, I have that wrong, A minus 1 times the identity matrix equal, or times U equals 0. That's the same as subtracting 1 down the main diagonal. So that's this equation. Now we can use MathCAD to help us solve this system of equations if we take uh, R, R, E, F, if we just type those letters R, R, E, F, parentheses, and then put that matrix in and hit the equal sign, here's what we get. And that matrix, uh, the first row tells us that U one, if we solve, remember this is the U1 slot, that's the U2 slot, that's the U3 slot. So the first row tells us <clears throat> that U1 equals minus one half U3, and the second row tells us that U2 equals one half U3. So if we put that into the, um, uh, uh, column vector format for u1, u2, u3, we get minus a half, a half, 
and 1, where all of these entries are multiplied by U3. And remember, the convention is the convention is to not have any fractions, so we multiply everything through by 2, and we get this eigenvector, minus 1, minus, or minus 1, minus 1, 1, 2, this entry right here should be a positive uh, 1 half. So let's mark that result. So associated with the eigenvalue r equals 1, we have the e vector with r equals 1, we have the eigenvector minus 1, 1, 2. So let's do the same procedure now for r equals 2 on the next uh, blackboard. So we set a minus 2 times the identity uh, matrix multiplied by u equals 0, and that's just the same as subtracting 2 down the main diagonal and multiplying by u single 0, setting equals 0. So again, we're just going to take uh, our REF of that matrix, um, this matrix here. So that leads to this uh, matrix, which if we translate that, we get what u1 is minus one half u3, u2 is uh, one fourth u3, and u3 is u3, which gives us this, uh, and then we multiply through by four to get this eigenvector in the proper form. Oops. So that would be what, minus 2, 1, 4. So that's the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue, r equals 2. So then finally, on the next uh, blackboard, we'll find <coughs> the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue, r equals 3. So I've subtracted uh, 3 down the down the main diagonal, multiplied it by the column mat uh, matrix u1, u2, u3, and when we do our REF on this matrix, we get this. <clears throat> we get this matrix, and since we've done this a few times, let's see if we can uh, do this a little more quickly. So that would be what, a fourth here, or minus a fourth here, a fourth here. And uh, 1 here, we multiply everything through by 4, and we get minus 1, 1, 4 is the eigenvector associated with the eigenvalue, r equals 3. So if we put all that together, we get our solution is C1, C1 uh, minus 1, 1, 2, e to the t, plus C2 minus 2, 1, 4, e to the 2t, plus C3 minus 1, 1, 4, e to the 3t, and that is the solution which we could also put in the matrix form or on test. We'll just put it in that form. So we used MathCAD to um, help us find the determinant as well as to uh, help us find the eigenvectors uh, associated with each eigenvalue. Uh, I do want you on the test to be able to get to the solution in this form <clears throat> after finding each of the three eigenvectors. Uh, now this method works when the eigenvalues are distinct, when they're all different, uh, when, um, when the eigenvalues uh, are repeated, the process gets a little, uh, quite a bit actually more complex, and we'll talk about that. Uh, in the next class.